how to make wide full synths uh, which are at the same time uh, not eating much of space around for other instruments <laughs> so yeah well how to make them wide um, and full and like full. powerful but without eating much uh, everything first thing first thing as always uh, is um, to use to use sounds that occupy only the frequency area that they have to and uh, one thing that I use quite extensively with uh, analog synths which are more or less mono is to track them twice meaning that uh, I have a sound and I will record it or I will record it in a workstation once and then I will record it again with slightly different settings and uh, those sounds by default will be mono and each one of them will be slightly different so I will pan everything hard left hard right and I will get really really white stereo I do that all the time with uh, with um, claps and uh, uh, hi-hats EDC EDC uh, another te technique to use is to layer or better say okay let me finish up this one how you do that in the box you do that in the box in a way that you open one soft synth you create a sound and you work with the sound in mono even though the plugin is capable of stereo output you just make it mono more or less all synths allow uh, you to make the mono and then make a sound that fits perfectly in the mix in mono and then just copy uh, open another track in your uh, sequencer copy the same settings as you have on that synthesizer on a new channel uh, set the parameters slightly different the filter different the modulation different I don't know what usually you can uh, uh, add a different speed of an LFO to one uh, synth, different speed of an LFO to another synth and then just pan those two mono synths hard left and hard right and you will get super wide stereo which is basically 100% mono compatible in majority of cases sometimes there will be some cancellations but if you want super wide this is the way to do it and uh, this is one example I have here uh, it's a clap in one of my tracks uh, that um, is double tracked that way uh, why? okay so this clap is really really wide because you can see I have two channels this is uh, a 9 on 9 uh, which I double tracked meaning that it was running in sync with the sequencer and I was recording a clap uh, through the whole duration of the song and then I recorded it again through the whole duration of the song because the drum machine is analog even though the sample of the clap in 909 is a sample as far as I remember or maybe it's analog it's not important but you can see in the waveform that the this clap track and this clap track even though the name is wrong so this is 909 clap 1 909 clap 2 they are not the same the dynamics are changing uh, and also the timber is changing slightly so when I pan this one hard left and I pan this one hard right and if I insert some sort of uh, metering plugin so let me open this one Okay, you can see that the sound is stereo, meaning that this graph here is showing us that we have different information on left and right channel. If I mute only one, uh, they are linked and I forgot how to, uh, like this, okay, no group. So you can see that if I listen to only one, it's a straight line only on left channel. If I pan it center, it's a straight line vertically. That means that this sound is 100% mono. If I go on this one, you can see that this one is also 100% mono and both of them are mono. But when I pan them left, right and sum them together, 
I get a really, really wide stereo clap uh, out of mono sample. And this is the technique I use on many, many drum sounds, which are like in a low mid, high mid, and even high frequency spectrum. Meaning that I will layer hi-hats, I will layer shakers, uh, snare drum, CDC, DC, if there is a need to make them white. And there is also a possibility that I'm using uh, effects for widening. And again, I'm a big, big fan of uh, Nugent plugin, which is called a Nugent Stereoizer. Uh, let me open it, which will give you more or less uh, the same effect uh, with stereo. Uh, let me just pan this one center. Okay, anyway, I'm not getting the results that I would like to, but this is the plugin that I use a lot for, uh, for stereo enhancement. And another one that I use a lot for stereo enhancement is, again, the Nugent Stereo Placer, where, where you can basically uh, frequency-dependent uh, change pan of the sounds. So you can actually uh, just pan a certain portion of a signal to the left, frequency band, sorry, to the left or to the right. This is really handy with loops. When I'm using sort of uh, any kind of loops which are not stereo enough, you can just a grab a selection and make it more uh, pan to the right and another selection more pan to the left. So these are more or less the stereo tools I use besides uh, adding uh, stereo effects.